Hi, my name is Kerry Drake. I live in Casper. Uh, I'm the editor of the Casper Citizen, which is an online newspaper uh, that we started after I got fired from the Casper Star Tribune last January. I'd worked there for about 19 years. I was also uh, an employee at the London Tribune Eagle in Cheyenne for about 18 years. So I feel like I've, I've worked a lot in Wyoming and know a lot about Wyoming issues. Uh, unfortunately, I, I didn't expect to be fired, like most people don't, uh, a year ago. And then because our, my family and I, and my professionally experienced to, uh, to have quite a few changes uh, with the drop of income. Uh, so I was really looking forward to uh, signing up for the afford under the Affordable Care Act with the health exchange. Uh, when I went to that uh, site, though, and, and also talked to a, a person at, at the uh, at the federal level, they told me that we are eligible for Medicaid, which made, made me feel really good in terms of I would finally have health insurance coverage for the first time in a year. Uh, we both take a lot of medication for different illnesses. Uh, for example, I had a stroke, a small stroke a few years ago. I've had a quadruple bypass in my heart. Uh, I've got high blood pressure and diabetes, and all of these things make me uh, a regular visitor to the doctor when I can afford it. Unfortunately, in the last year, I haven't been able to afford it as much as, as I would normally do. So I racked up a lot of medical bills, and that was uh, some of the legislators, including Charles Scott, the, the chairman, uh, seem to think that everybody is just lazy, they won't get a job. Uh, he, I know he wants to tie in the requirement that everybody work 20, at least 20 hours a week uh, before they can get Medicaid. Uh, these people are already working. People like myself, the people I mentioned that are, are, are minimum, at minimum wage jobs, they're working quite hard. And just imagine what we would have going for Wyoming if we had a healthy uh, society and a healthy economy and healthy people. I you know, I, I think this is a tremendous opportunity for people uh, to speak out in, in behalf of people who uh, normally don't have much of a voice. Poor people in Wyoming, you know, they don't have lobbyists in general. Uh, they may have some sympathetic legislators and sympathetic organizations.